What do you do when somebody runs over your mailbox and you've got a rotten pole? He's got the spirit of a handyman. Welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman, here to talk to you today about how to remove a rotted, broken post stump from the ground. This one is not mine. I uh, ran over this one with my truck and uh, need to replace it because that's the polite thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that with using average household tools that it comes at no cost to you. Let's give it a go. All right, so step one is we need to be able to get down to the level of the broken pole um, so that we can uh, attach a bolt to the wood there. So we're just gonna dig around the edge here. All right, so I backed into this really gently and the thing just fell over. Um, it doesn't look too rotted, like there's not a ton of carpentry ants damage or whatever. But at the same time, I'm able to still snap this stuff. Um, so I'm hoping that there's enough good wood in this that I can put a bolt in here and then pull it out of the ground without having to go buy or rent a post hole digger. What do you do with a rotted pole? I guess I'll pull it out of the hole. I pull the whole pole right out of the whole hole. And now it's really out of there. All right, I'm feeling like 50% confident about this. I've got a pole, which could be longer for to give like a better leverage. I've got a fulcrum. Um, of this cinder block, which is maybe six inches tall. I'm using a ratchet strap attached, wrapped around the end of the pole, attached to my two um, wing nut things, uh, hand screws. And uh, let's see if this works. Here we go. If you just sit on it or stand on it, All right, so I jumped on it a little bit and this, uh, this one popped out of the wood. So I think I need to dig a little bit lower to get into the meteor, less, hopefully less rotted section of the pole and um, get a little bit more leverage. This is like a four foot section of post and four feet is just not enough leverage. Let's try again. Oh, broke the strap. Stronger strap. Good. This is working really well. Oh. Oh. Cool. I'm having a hard time getting this out. So I need to make the hole bigger and go around it deeper. Is it moving? I don't believe you. It is. There was a pole and it was stuck inside the ground. But then I used brute force to pull it out of the ground and it's not around. probably should pour oh it is working all right um, I the we bottomed out with the pole so now it's just time to wiggle it free and it's loose enough there you go 
36 inches deep. Um, that was quite the adventure. All right, so here's what we ended up doing. Once I got a screw put into the side, I put a washer on it, wrapped the rope around to give it a little bit more friction so I wasn't just pulling up on these because they kept breaking out of the wood. So this gave it a little bit more of a friction hold and this gave it like a little grip. And that's ultimately what gave us enough um, grab on the trunk to pull it up out of the ground. Next time, just buy a hole digger. It's way easier than, than doing this. But this was free. This has been Spirit of a Handyman, showing you how an ordinary Joe like yourself or myself with no experience in these things can remove a mailbox pole using common everyday items, so no cost, um, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, remove a fence pole. Like, subscribe, and comment below with your ideas on what you have found successful for removing a pole. And we'll see you next time on Spirit of a Handyman. What rhymes with sucks? Gee, this really sucks. I don't recommend flying without ducks. What? <laughs> if you hit somebody's mailbox, you gotta do the right thing. You gotta pull the pole out of the hole and replace the whole daggum thing. Uh, remove a mailbox stump pole uh, using average household tools and a little bit of brawn and three hours of your wasted day. He's got a spirit of a handyman.